Richardson. Hey, you be too. Dr. Tristan84 here, and I thought I'd take a few moments to talk about my fourth market trip. <laughs> the main purpose of this trip was the market WCQ. Now, at first, I didn't realise that a WCQ and a regional tournament were the same thing. Um, so yeah, the deck I decided to play in that was Dark Magician Hero. Um, meanwhile, Neo Nexodus would bring TG Photon, Scapegoat User would have Bobble Boot, Ojama the Bomb would have Heratics, and Mr. Sasuke Dragon would have Dino Rabbit. Um, and this was also the trip where uh, I properly met 89 Manic and interacted with him. Um, I didn't see much of Emma, unfortunately. Um, I did see her briefly, but uh, she went off somewhere else for the weekend. Um, so me and the guys just basically played Yu-Gi-Oh, ate pizza and uh, played Mario Kart. So when I arrived, um, I played against uh, 89 Manic. Um, he wouldn't be in the regional, he'd be judging, but throughout the whole time he was playing Crystal Beasts, um, and I struggled quite a lot against him with uh, Dark Magician Hero. Um, but I did put up a good fight. Um, I remember one funny moment where um, uh, Neo Nexodus randomly said, I'm going to take a piss, and then Jay said, yeah, everyone on YouTube needed to know that shit. Then just for a joke he yelled, YouTube, I'm taking a piss. And then I yelled, why, do you like golden showers? And then everyone just laughed. Um, but as for the match, it was pretty back and forth, but... He beat me 2-1, um, then I think after that we went out and got pizza, then brought it back here, then played three battle royales. Um, of course it was just me, Ojama, Neo Nexus, Mr. Sasuke Dragon and 89 Manic. Uh, they were all using the same decks, um, you yeah. because um, Obviously, regional practice, so again, uh, throughout the whole time, Ojama we played Heratics, Neo Nexus had TG Photon, Mr. Sasuke Dragon, Dino Rabbit, and 89 Manic Crystal Beasts. Um, whereas, so I wanted to use a mixture of decks, really. At first, I used Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, unfortunately, in this first one, I... You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, in the first one, I didn't get a chance to do anything, really. Um, as my monster effects kept being negated, um, Neo Nexus didn't have a chance to do much. Um, of course, I remember one funny moment where um, he was contemplating scooping and he said I should quit and then I let off a great big fart which everyone laughed at and I was like yeah my ass says no um, and then 89 Manic took out me Neo and Ojama and um, yeah, Mr Sasuke Dragon ended up winning the whole thing then we had another one where we stuck with the same decks, just because I wanted a chance to play with blue eyes, yeah. And uh, my plan was to go after 89 Manic and get revenge for him taking me out before I had a chance to do anything. But one of the others beat me to it. Um, I know um, Neo Nexus got him to 100, but I don't remember who took him out. But... Um, 
But I was able to get out a few big dragons, a blue eyes white dragon and a red eyes darkness metal dragon. Um, but they kept leaving the field. Um, and eventually, 89 Manic, Neo and Ojama were taken down, so it was just between me and Sasuke. Um, and then I managed to finish him off with Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Um, then the third one, I finally changed decks and switched over to Rainbow Neos. Um, but we didn't see much of Rainbow Neos, unfortunately. There was a point where I did tribute summon Neos uh, by tributing Sangan and Treeborn Frog, I think. Um, and Sangan would add me King of the Swamp, which I then discarded to add a polymerization. Um, and Rainbow Neos did come out briefly, but as soon as it hit the field, Ojama bounced it with compulsory evacuation device. Uh, which I wasn't impressed about. Then I went down quite early. Um, then Ojama and Neo got taken out again, and once again it was a final between Mr. Sasuke Dragon and 89 Manic, and uh, this time 89 Manic won. Um, so that was it for day one. Um, the following day, um, Scapegoat user and Avril joined us, and so did Flannery for a bit. <coughs> um, and my first match of the day was uh, against Neo Nexodus. Um, this time he switched things up and used his Fish Exceeds deck, which I thought was really cool. I played Neo's Beatdown. Um, it was a very cool, fun, back-and-forth match, um, which went to a third game, and I won the whole thing. Um, then I had sort of a hero mirror match with a uh, scapegoat user. Um, again, it was pretty fun, pretty even, and went to a third game. Uh, even though at one point he kept bouncing my monsters with compuls. Um, it was kind of annoying, and I was like, but the love of God, how many compulses do you have? And he said, two, it's not my fault I see them. And then uh, Neo Nexus jokingly said, yes it is. <laughs> so, yeah, he won that match up. Um, then after that, um, I think this was when we had that three-on-three -three tag team duel, which I talked about in a recent video on Team Sorcerers, um, <clears throat> which was fun. So, it was me, Neo Nexodus, and Ojama the Bomb against uh, Mr. Sasuke Dragon, 89 Manic and Scapegoat user. Um, I kept with Dark Magician here, I thought, uh, yeah, let's all just use the decks we're going to play in the regional. Unfortunately, my team didn't do so well. I wasn't drawing great. There were some things I did, but not a lot. Uh, whereas uh, Ojama the Bomb just bricked more than me. Um, and of course bricking is a big weakness of Heratic, so uh, yeah, poor Neo Nexodus was just doing all the work. Um, at one point where I did drew, um, Ojama said, do you have anything playable in that deck? I was like, yes, this is the first time I actually bricked since I made these changes. Um, but of course, like I said, he kept bricking more than me, and, uh, and Neo Nexodus said, are you sure you don't need some level 4 lowers in there? Uh, whereas I was thinking, do you have anything playable? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it was a complete wash, unfortunately. Um, that being said, like I said, I do really want to have another three-on-three -three tag team game at some point. Because it was still a lot of fun, and those don't happen very much. Hey, babe. Uh -huh.
<laughs> I love listening to you talk. <laughs> After that was another four-way battle war, which was me, Ojama, Sosuke, and 89 Manic. Well, we stuck with the same decks again. Um, unfortunately, I didn't fare too well. I didn't see any hero cards and any searchers. Uh, but I did have a way to make Dark Paladin. Um, and there was one point where I did actually... Fusion summoned Dark Paladin, but again, immediately as soon as it hit the field, Ojama bounced it with Compulse. Like, looking back, I'm like, what has he got against two out of three of my favourite fusions? Seriously. Um, and uh, I remember Scapegoat user saying, thank God you did that. And Ojama said, why? What does it do? And then we explained that Dark, one of Dark Paladin's effects is that he gains 500 attack points for every dragon on the field and in the graveyard. And then uh, he said, oh, piss off! And then we all just burst out laughing. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, I was the first one to get knocked out of that royale then 89 Manic, and then Mr. Sasuke Dragon got stuck behind Photon Strike Bowser, um, and he was on a grand. Um, so, yeah, he was pretty stuffed, basically. Um, but, uh, for those who don't remember what Photon Strike Bowser does, it's, it's been a while, it has an effect that states where if a monster effect, I think, on the field, question mark, is activated. You can detach a material to negate that monster effect's activation and burn the opponent for a grand. Um, so yeah, Ojama won that, so it was still pretty nice that almost all of us won at least one battle of oil. Um, Oh wait, that was kind of a spoiler uh, for this next one. Um, in this next one, uh, Scapegoat User jumped in while um, Neo Nexodus was sitting out playing a Pokemon game. Um, and this was one of the most fun, yet absolute bullshit battle royals ever, because it was just basically us countering everything we did, um, like stopping each other with solemn warnings, bottomlesses, compulses, effect veilers, like, I swear I was the only one who was trying to play properly. Um, there was even one point where uh, Scape used a special summon a Photon Thrasher, then uh, for some reason, Sasuke Dragon activated Compulse and bounced it back, then he went special. Hello. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, what was the point of that? <laughs> um, uh, like I said, I feel like I was the only one trying to play properly, so I brought out Steam Healer. Oh, oh yeah, and I was playing my pure elemental hero deck in this one. Um, yeah, I had Steam Healer in there because at the time I didn't have Thunder Giant for some reason. Um, I don't remember what happened to any of the copies I had before. A bit random. Uh, thankfully I do have one now. Original print. Um, actually I've got... Um, two versions of the original print. One ultra rare, which I still play in my Elemental Hero deck, and a banged up ultimate rare in my hero collection. Um, shame it's banged up, considering it's a lost millennium ulti. Oh well. Anyway, back on topic. So Steam Healer came out, but I think uh, Bottomless or Torrential was activated. Uh, I don't remember, it was a while ago. Um, then later on I played Burial from a Different Dimension, put back the Bubble Man and Burstinatrix, which I've used to 
bring Steam Healer out. Then I played Miracle Fusion again and busted out Nova Master. Um, and Mr. Sosuke Dragon activated Bottomless, and I was like, for fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, which just had Ojama in stitches. Um, and then, as the game went on, um, Skateboard User was knocked down to 300, um, and uh, um, 89 Manic finished him off with Amethyst Cat. Um, and then Ojava took control of the field with Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger and Photon Strike Bouncer, and basically nobody could do anything because of Bouncer. Um, whereas I was just trying to build up to a fusion that could help. Um, like, my plan was to basically get Elemental Hero's Shining Third Wingman out. As, um, I felt like that was the only way to get rid of Bouncer. Because um, obviously Bouncer doesn't stop continuous effects. Um, but there was something I was able to do in the meantime, which was make a Dark Bright and attack something uh, Ojama had on his field. Um, And then, um, I think 89 Manic got taken out, um, and then I was able to do a play which I could have done a lot sooner but didn't think of it, and that was bring out Elemental Hero of the Shining, um, which was another out of Bouncer. So I got that out, attacked over the Bouncer, um, and uh, I took control of the field. Um, and then on my next turn, I took Ojama out of the game, uh, then attacked uh, Sasuke directly with Elementary Wild Heart and ended. Uh, he couldn't do anything and just scooped. Um, and then, while this battle war was going on, uh, Coffee Meister showed up for a bit. Um, and then I had a battle royale with him and 89 Manic. Um, uh, again, he stuck with Crystal Beasts. I switched back to Dark Magician Hero. But unfortunately, Coffee Meister used a deck that I'm known for hating a lot Gladiator Beasts. Like, oh, great. Um, so I basically tried to take him out before he could summon Gladiator Beast Heraklinos, but it didn't work unfortunately. Um, I got overwhelmed, Heraklinos came out, um, I was the first one to be taken down, uh, uh, 89 Manic just had all the answers for Herak, you know, Lightning Vortex, Crystal Abundance, and uh, he just was able to clear Coffee Meister's field and win. Um, um, and at that point, it was kind of disappointing that I didn't win a single game with uh, my Dark Magician Hero deck. Um, but things would pick up in the regional the following day. Um, yeah, after that, uh, we all played some Mario Kart as well. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I can't remember if I did film any Mario Kart games. Um, I know Neo Nexodus did. Um, I might have filmed a little bit of it um, in the compilation video, but that's not there anymore, unfortunately. Um, And after that, um, me and Scapegoat User did deck profiles for the decks uh, we're going to play in the regional, or were going to play in it. And the following day, we got up at 7am, um, just tired as hell, um, and made our way down there. I think we got there at about 8.30 um, and registered. Um, 
and uh, yeah, 60 people attended apparently. Um, I'm sure there's been bigger numbers at a regional, but that was the number that was there. Um, apparently, Mr. Sasuke Dragon was the only Dino Rabbit player that attended, um, and no one was playing Dark World, which was surprising. Um, I, I know Luke Leonard was playing Wind Ups. Um, I don't know if anyone was using Chaos Dragons. Uh, I do know all the other decks showed up. Um, so yeah, there were six rounds, um, and I got paired against Neo Nexodus in the first round. Um, uh, and this didn't go so well for me. Um, it was kind of annoying for me. Um, he went first and summoned Thunder King, which royally screwed me. Um, I had a whole bunch of searches in hand and just couldn't do anything. Um, like I was just stuck. I couldn't fusion summon anything either. I, was, I couldn't access my fusion spells. Um, was getting beaten down, my life points were dropped, and when I finally was able to get rid of Thunder King, it was too late because I was on like 300 life points or something. And uh, he summoned one of his light monsters, attacked one of mine, dropped Honest. Um, game two wasn't much better because he kept negating my fusion spells with solemn warnings and dark bribes. Um, and he took the match, um, yeah, not a good start, like, I didn't have a chance to do anything, which was kind of bullshit, to be honest, uh, oh well. Um, then in round two, I played against some kid who was playing, uh, Hero Beat, um, kind of s similar to Bubble Beat, only relied more on skill drain. Um, I didn't have too many problems in this one. Um, I was able to win the match 2-0, so at long last I finally won a match with Dark Magician Hero. Hey you. Hello, I'll be in a minute. <laughs> um, and then in round 3 I got paired against Ojama the Bomb. Um, and this was a closer match, which actually went to a third game, and uh, uh, something very weird happened. Um, although the, my deck was cut and shuffled, I opened with Future Fusion every single duel. Um, I don't remember much else that happened, really. Um, all I remember is that it went to a third game, and... Uh, and I was able to win against him, and uh, uh, that was actually the last time I played against him. And, oh look, we've got some Squishmallows joining us. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I was going to introduce them, but I forgot their names already. Lily Bear. Yeah, Lily Bear's the duck. Adabelle the frog. Yeah. yeah. Robin the rabbit mm -hmm. and Champ the horse. Let me just show them real quick. <laughs> and here's someone me. else who's cues. And I tickled him to death earlier. Yes, you did, right before I did this video. <laughs> Um, Let me go away. <laughs> so yeah, halfway through the rounds, and uh, I was starting to do really well. Um, then in round four, I played against uh, Luke Pierce, the younger brother of Jay Pierce. who was playing Six Samurais, which was annoying, because as I've said, I fucking hate Six Samurais. That being said, I didn't actually struggle too much against them. Um, I know I've managed to win uh, game 
one with not too many problems. I don't think Shen or Beast came out at all. Um, and then, um, or did it? I'm trying to remember because I'm sure in actually maybe Shen did come out in this game as I remember playing. Uh, a spell which he negated and then I activated Dark Holes to get rid of Shen. Um, whereas in game two I established a good board quite early on. I managed to get out Nova Master, equip him with Safe Zone, um, and I don't think he was able to get rid of it. Um, he did make Shen again, which I questioned. Well, uh, well, in my mind, because uh, Shen has a lower attack. Uh, I'm like, okay, cool, I'll just run it over with Nova Master and get a draw. Um, and then I won that match. Um, so at that point, um, I was three games up, and getting a bit nervous, not going to lie. Um, just nervous about the thought of... Um, playing one of the more pro players, maybe even getting paired against Luke Leonard. Um, <clears throat> then again, I guess it was doubtful since um, he usually wins all his games. Um, but no, I got paired against someone playing Machina Gadgets. Um, uh, yeah, this was tougher than I thought. Um, <clears throat> I think he won game one, I was able to win game two, um, and then by game three, I think time on the round was running out, but I opened with an absolutely terrible hand, like, um, I don't remember what it was, but it was the worst hand I could possibly open with when playing Dark Magician Hero. Um, uh, I did draw into a Stratos, which would have unbricked it, but rather annoyingly, he negated the summon with solemn fucking warning. Um, and I think I just scooped up after that. Um, then sixth and final round, um, I went up against a guy playing Insectors. Um, as I've said before, Insectors are very difficult to deal with. Or at least they were back in 2012. Um, <clears throat> again, I think the guy beat me game one. I managed to win game two. Um, and then he won game three. Don't remember much. It was pretty even, but he just played better than me. Simple as that. Um, and that was the end of all the rounds. And I finished... 26 out of 60 people, so top 32, pretty good if I do say so myself, and uh, out of all the regionals I played in, that was my best run yet. Um, yeah, well, I think Mr. Sasuke Dragon or Ojama the Bomb finished 27th. Um, I don't remember where the other one finished though. Um, Whereas a Neo Nexus and Scapegoat user did better and finished in the top 16, um, Neo came 15th and Scapegoat user, Jammy Sod, did the best out of all of us and finished 13th. Um, <clears throat> um, I remember another pretty funny moment from back then where um, basically Luke Leonard was announced as the winner, but Nobody cheered except for like one person, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Sasuke Dragon was like, Oh dear! and people from the balcony were shouting, Stacker! Um, yeah, um, I don't want to say too much, but let's just say Luke Leonard wasn't exactly a popular player when he played. Um, uh, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so yeah, we got our five participation packs as well. Went back to uh, at Avril's place. Um, 
I pulled one hollow from all my five packs, which was number 32 Shock Drake, which was actually one I actually wanted, so that was also a good highlight. And then uh, after that we watched a bit of Iron Man 2. And the following day, last day, um, I played a few more games. Um, I used my Bladeage Beatdown deck in a game against Scapegoat User. Um, and again, he was using Bubble Beats. Um, <clears throat> and I also randomly remember letting one rip and stinking out the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then in the Exodus and the drama, the bomb arrived as well, just to hang out. Um, then I used the Blade Edge beat down deck against this Fish Exceeds deck. Uh, didn't do very well and lost that game as well. Um, and then the final match I had was uh, me with Elemental Heroes against Nene and Exodus with TG Photon. Um, so he won game one. Um, I just managed to win game two. Um, even though I got stuck behind a Photon Thrasher for a bit. Um, I remember I had uh, Neo down to 600 life points. Uh, um, I was just stuck on the defensive. I had lots of heroes, but no way to fuse them until a few turns later. Um, <clears throat> and then um, I was able to finally fusion summon while uh, he, he had three cards face down. So I made absolute zero. He activated bottomless, which destroyed and banished Absolute Zero, but then Absolute Zero's effect popped his Photon Thrasher, then I normal summoned Wild Heart, and he was like, fuck! <laughs> and it was funny, because he had, uh, like, Torrential Tributes and School Drain, which obviously don't work on Wild Heart, because he's unaffected by traps. So I took game two, um, and then game three was a bit more of the same as game one. Um, he had a few monsters out. I fusion summoned Wild Edge, which would have been a great way to clear out all his monsters. But he activated Skill Drain. Um, so I was able to attack over just one monster. And then I think he actually took control of my Wild Edge somehow. It was either with Creature Swap or that TG trap. It might have been Creature Swap, I think. Um, and I just scooped it up. Um, <clears throat> and then I had to go home. Um, and that would be the last time I'd go down there until uh, August 2013. Um, <coughs> And several things uh, happened during that time. Um, but that's another story. Um, and this would be the last regional, in fact, last big competitive event I'd ever attend. It's a shame uh, I didn't see you much then, that one. Yeah, I would have loved to see more of you, but I know you had other plans. <laughs> Cute in your pictures, though. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You look good on the day, but I did see you. But even though you do anyway. Okay. <laughs> I love this nutter. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this beautiful woman. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, um, <clears throat> yeah. That Margate Regional was the last regional and big tournament I'd attend because sometime after that I just lost interest in those kinds of events. Um, <clears throat> it's just not my thing anymore. Um, <clears throat> I was more up for it in my mid to late 
twenties, as um, originally I kind of wanted to make a name for myself and <clears throat> try and get really far in a big event with an original non-meta deck. Um, and I did sort of manage it when I attended the UK Nationals in 2011, um, because it was free invite. Um, that obviously didn't do well in that. <clears throat> Whereas in the other regionals I attended, I just scrubbed out. But I might talk more about that in another video. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, even though this Margate regional was my very best regional, um, I just don't fancy playing in big events like regionals and YCSs anymore. I've never attended a YCS, but you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> it's just not something I fancy. Um, uh, I just don't think they're enjoyable. Um, in fact, there's four specific reasons like why I don't play in those sorts of events, um, besides just lack of interest, really. Like, entry's too expensive, there's too much meta, there's too many ridiculous strict over-the-top rules, and there's also that chance that it might be disorganised, like YCS London was, like, back in 2013 or 14. I didn't attend, obviously, but I heard that the event started two hours late. Um, not sure why. Um, could be a number of reasons, really. One being uh, having to do multiple repairings. Uh, I can imagine that that must be a nightmare. Um, uh, yeah, entry for these things is about... Fifteen pounds, as far as I remember. Um, I don't know. I just feel like if you pay that much and then just completely scrub out and not win any games or even win just one, then it just feels like a waste of money. Like that trip to the UK Nationals. Um, it's like I could have use that £15 for something else, right? Maybe to some it might not seem that much, but, um, I don't know, kind of is. Um, I mean, sure you get participation packs as well, but there's also that chance you could put absolute jank, um, especially, like, before 2016, because in the main set you were not guaranteed a hollow. Um, and obviously nowadays, um, you are guaranteed at least one super, like, in a main set pack, but it could be a janky super, uh, for you know. Um, <clears throat> and that's for too much meta. Well, obviously, it's to be expected at these sorts of events, but um, when I played in local tournaments, like, I got enough of that as it is, um, whereas at bigger events it's just too much. Or you could get someone playing some kind of annoying anti-meta deck, like Herald for instance, or Cyframes. Um, and as for the strict over-the-top rules, yeah they're needed to stop people cheating, but there's some that are just way too over-the-top. Like, especially when it comes to sleeves, for instance. Like, sleeves are a very controversial issue when it comes to these things. Like, there's certain types of sleeves that you can't use. Um, like, one in particular is where it can't be reflective. Um, but, I don't know, unless it's a clear sleeve, like, they can't reflect shit. Um, and even if they could, like, uh, if you're about to draw a card off the top of your deck, you're going to see what it is anyway. So, I just don't see what the big deal is. Like, for instance, I guarantee that if I was to play a deck with this sort of sleeve, for instance, I would not be allowed to enter with it and would be forced to change sleeves. 
Um, I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous and petty. Um, or at least in a locals, it doesn't really matter. Like, um, yeah, there are rules to abide by in a local tournament, but at least they're more chilled compared to a regional or WCQ. Um, like, you, you could get a ward <coughs> or something for like the stupidest thing uh, in regionals and stuff. I mean, but I've never had those sorts of issues myself, but. Um, I don't know. You just never know what you could get done for at these things. Um, I don't know. Just tournaments are just shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, never really. It, you lost interest in them, didn't you? Yeah, in somewhat recent years, I just lost interest in local tournaments. Um, for reasons that I've been over multiple times already. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that basically sums up my fourth Margate trip. Um, at some point I'll talk about the fifth one. And, wow, this video is 41 minutes long. Yeah, definitely need to wrap it up now because we have plans, don't we? Yeah, but I don't. I didn't think it was going on that long. <laughs> oh. Right. So we set off for two where we want to show off. Uh, show off. Set off to in a minute. I don't know what I'm saying. Something more like fart off. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed this little discussion video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you later. later. <laughs> She's trying to tickle me again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.